this game has absolutely nothing to do with either nuts or milk as you presently understand them. You don't have to worry about lactose intolerance or anaphylactic shock brought on by this week's Famicom Friday. You do, however, have to worry about Hudson titles from the earliest days of the Famicom. This is nuts and milk, or what happens when the Famicom is recognized as the technological marvel that it was at the time. No, seriously. Before that, back in 1983, there was a version of this game making the rounds for the MSX and other similar home computer platforms that looked much rougher than this. It was a top-down affair that felt much more like a desperate attempt at Pac-Man, as opposed to this much more refined version, with jump physics, that feels much more like a desperate attempt at Donkey Kong. At least we're making progress. So, as milk, a blob with feet and eyes, and that's about it because we're talking 1984 sprite art here for crying out loud, you're trying to climb, jump, and platform about a stage where you're being chased by one or more nuts. And the more and more I go on explaining this, the dirtier and dirtier I'm feeling. The ultimate goal is to collect all the fruit and climb to the top of the stage to your girlfriend's house, which happens to be almost exactly where you'd expect Donkey Kong to be. It's kind of eerie in a way. Succeed, and you move on to the next stage where the layout's a bit different, but you do exactly the same thing. This is all you can expect at the time, especially considering this was a year and change before Super Mario Bros. would shake up the entire paradigm. So what you're left with is a very arcade-style platform, which is kind of strange as there was never actually an arcade version of this game. It just took the design of one and ran with it, making a difficult, if kind of thin, experience that would have been happy to suck down your quarters, if it had ever had a coin slot. What it does have, though, is a customization feature that allows you to build the first stage to your own specifications. Unfortunately, this came out months before even Excitebike, and thus months before there was compatibility with the cassette-based Famicom data recorder, there's no way to actually save your stages. You know, like it's always been here in the States where we never even got that peripheral to record and immortalize our genius tracks, wrecking crew death traps, or our progress in Castle Quest. Whatever did we do? Nuts and Milk might play like some awkward middle ground between Donkey Kong and Load Runner, but... You know, I can't even twist that around into something interesting anymore. It's a very straightforward 1984... thing that plays like the awkward middle ground between Donkey Kong and Load Runner. Heck, this thing didn't even have the wherewithal to have a third piece of music. Its only North American release came as part of a dicey mobile phone compilation that might not have even been on the up and up. Were it not for this Famicom Friday segment, brought to you this week by Mark in Fresh Meadows, New York, you'd have gone through your entire life unawares. That's why I'm here. So if you're looking for, um, an awkward middle ground between Donkey Kong and Load Runner, and you don't mind importing a copy, sure. Get nuts in your milk. There's no good way to say that. I'm gonna go floss with razor wire now.